Chuta. I'm Amun. I consider myself as a multidisciplinary artist. So I do a bit of sonic visual movement arts. Every part of the gallery to me is beautiful. I like the bridge. Every time I walk past it, I just feel like there's a sense of uh, wonder. I am Cheryl Ho. I am primarily trained as an actor. I also write and create theatre. And I think I'm playing around with the idea of like, how do we live life or experience life or frame our experiences and relate to one another such that we can live more deeply. My name is Ridwan. I'm a composer, musician. In 17, I started guitar. Since then, it's been a trajectory of obsession that became love, that became a want to give back. As an overall theme that runs through my work is I am resonating with vibration a lot these days and how it's captured, be it through amplification, how it's manipulated through absorbing messaging and then curating action from the messaging. If I were to touch the surface of what I plan to work for for this residency, it's to collaborate and learn as much as I can from my collaborators. The time and space for me to explore and create, I've been learning it so far. To be able to work with, let's say, apparel designers, musicians, gets, gets me very excited. I think I'm very open to learning from my collaborators as well because I am going to collaborate with performers who are deaf so it's going to be my first time using Singapore Sign Language within, I guess, a work that I create. Also for me, learning from your, like, listening to your ideas and your imagination, something you don't get to do often. Like, you do works in silos. It doesn't tend to be an island of collaboration, so I've been really loving that. One of the artworks I'm responding to is by S. Sujijono. It's called Perusing a Poster. This was post-independent Indonesia, and he captured the environment of, let's say, a village, listening to the news, listening to the elections, and he is observing them observing. And he has captured this magically. I'm very inspired by Patrick Ng's self-portrait with friends. There's something so colourful about that painting. And also his other painting, Patrick Ng's Membaso Kain Itapi Sungai, which means washing cloth at the side of the river. It's also colourful, but in a different spectrum, in a different lens. One of the works that I'm drawing inspiration from is called Last Supper by Tisna Sanjaya. Around the frame, there are these monsters and there's this like monster at the bottom. I call it monsters, whether it's something else, that is like trapped in this like, cage. They talk about it being like disorder lies beyond the frame. And I think about that a lot in terms of um, whether there are worries, there are distractions, there are outside forces, be it human or spiritual, that are like impacting our lives. Even though we're not working directly, what you've done so far already inspired me to see how can I create a different approach to my work. From now until 2025, um, it will be a different version of me. That's something that um, the audience can plot for. There's going to be a beautiful collaboration between myself, musicians and movement artists. A blend of being experimental, but also palatable. So it's familiar, but also dynamic. I think for my work, audiences can look out for some humour, some existentialism and hope.